Hi, um, I'm Rhonda Friedenberg, and I am the organizer of the South Florida Ride for Kids. There are 40 rides around the country, and we are the first ride, and we're in South Florida. How did your organization originally get started with the Pediatric Brain Tumor Foundation? Well, we used to attend the other rides in Asheville and in uh, Dunellen, Georgia, and the foundation wanted to bring a ride down here because they know we have some you know, fabulous and generous motorcyclists in our area, so they came down and I volunteered to organize the ride. You have another event coming up just next weekend, right? Well, on April 1st, the Goodyear Blimp Base has offered us uh, two rides, uh, five seats on each ride uh, for our brain tumor survivors. And these children are brain tumor survivors, but when you get to meet them, you realize that a lot of them have very residual damage. And our goal is to find the cause, the cure, and uh, non-toxic form of treatment. So we want to make them feel special. So they offered us to go for a ride on the Goodyear Blimp, and that will be on April 1st. So you have another event coming up after the one on April 1st. Yeah, April 1st is for the children and on April 14th is for the motorcyclists. And it is uh, held at Quiet Water Park and it is, uh, you can go online to www.rideforkids.org and you can sign up. If you sign up you get a $10 discount and you also get an extra ticket to win a motorcycle because at uh, all of ours we ride, um, we give away a motorcycle. And it is uh, Sunday, April 14th, like I said, come, you have breakfast, then you go on a police escorted ride and you come back and you have a great barbecue lunch, lots of fun, meet our kids, see their faces when they take off on sidecars and have a great time. What time does the ride start? What time does form up? Okay, well the registration is from 8 to 9.30 and then they're going to be uh, kickstands up at 10 o'clock and it is police escorted. Your ultimate goal here is to? Was to raise money so that they can find the cause and then find the cure and hopefully make it a non-toxic treatment. They're the largest non-governmental agency that funds research. The uh Sponsor for this particular event today where we're at? Okay, it's at my husband's motorcycle shop, Star Cycles on Wiles Road in Coral Springs. And what we did is we are hosting and providing all the food and refreshments for a, another club who is raising money to bring to the ride. And uh, we, you know, try to help everybody we can so that they can come and help us. Every year we do this. We have a club that would like to uh, help out and we, uh, we provide all the food and stuff for them and they invite everybody and we put the word out. And right now we have a really nice showing of people and it's a great afternoon and great hamburgers. My name's English Annie. And you are involved with? Southern Cruisers Riding Club. We are the full Lauderdale chapter and I am one of the first officers. All right, how did your organization get involved with the Pediatric Brain, Pediatric brain Tumor Foundation? Um, nine years ago, uh, on the very first ride, uh, I, I had just got my bike and we were invited to come and take part. Um, and we actually organized the parking that year. So we were in on the first one, and actually one of our friends won the motorcycle that year. So we just kept coming back because it's such a different motorcycle ride. You know, you meet the kids, there's a big, um, you know, assembly after the ride and prizes and all kinds of things. It's just such a great ride that we've continued to do And so how many years has this been going now? This is our ninth ride. Yeah, this is the ninth year. Okay, and the the involvement with uh, Star Cycles, do you know how long that's been going on? Since day one. Dave and Rhonda have been task force leaders for the ride um, at, since the start, the originals. All right. I'm Mel Cantor. I'm the treasurer of King David Bikers of South Florida. Uh, I've been involved with the Ride for Kids for probably over six years and been very active in fundraising and uh, having people from our club uh, uh, inspired to raise money for Ride for Kids as well as uh, personal friends and business connections. Uh, it's a terrific, wonderful organization. Uh, uh, they 
do great work. And as I tell my friends, it's better to give than receive. You don't want to be on the receiving end of, uh, of what these kids have to deal with. And uh, the organization is uh, just uh, trying to find a cure that will help children survive. In the past uh, number of years, I, I've gotten a call after our ride and after our fundraising effort from a young lady who lives in Asheville. And I've never met her, but she had brain tumor while she was in. She had a brain tumor while she was in high school, and they helped her through it and uh, helped her through college. And uh, I think they gave her some uh, funding through college, and now she's a teacher and uh, also active in the organization. And uh, it's nice when it puts a personal touch uh, to to the efforts that you do in raising money. And, uh, I just hope in my lifetime that we could see a cure for uh, brain tumors. Okay, do you have any final words for somebody watching? Uh, uh, my uh, a good friend of mine has a saying that uh, give until it feels good, not until it hurts. So let's uh, I'd like to pass that along. Great, thank you.